Hello, I'm going to show you how to fix dying light the beast issue. So let's start with the first method. Go to the Windows search bar and type in device manager. Now this tab will open. Search for display adapters. You will find it right here. Select this side arrow. Now this will pop up. Look for your graphics card like Nvidia or AMD. Do not select the integrated one. After that, right click on it and select update driver. Now select search automatically for drivers, wait for a moment, after that click close. For the next step, go to the search, after that go to settings. In the left menu, go to Windows Update and make sure you are already downloaded the latest Windows Update you will find right here. If you do have failed updates, make sure to select retry all and wait for them to finish. For the next step, go to the search and type in NVIDIA. You will find the NVIDIA app displaying like right here. If you don't, make sure to install it from the browser, go to the official website of NVIDIA and download it from there and come back here and open it you should sign up or log in with your correct information to that go to the left menu and select drivers and click on download or install whatever button you have after that select express or custom installation and click on continue to initiate the process now for the last step make sure to open the launcher that you have the game on either steam or epic games once it opens go to your library after that search for the game now once you find it go to the three dots right here or the gear icon in the steam launcher make sure to click it after that this manage option will appear right here in the steam launcher the properties option will appear so you need to, you need to click it after that make sure to select verify button that way any corrupted or missing file will be recovered safely without the need to install the game from the beginning for the steam launcher after selecting properties go to installed files and select verify integrity of game files now all you have to do if the problem still occurs is to just restart your computer and hopefully your problem should be fixed another thing to do go to the windows taskbar right click and select task manager from here ensure that you don't have the cpu or the memory at 100 percent go to the startup apps make sure to disable any inactive or useless app that you don't want and that's it if you find it helpful consider like and subscribing and see you on the next one